Three times in history we've caught an object coming from another star, and each time it has forced astronomers to rethink what they expect drifting through the galaxy. The newest visitor, 3i Atlas, is already proving to be stranger and more dynamic than expected. Over the past few weeks, both Hubble and ground-based telescopes have delivered dramatic new images. An unexpectedly bright central region, sprawling jets of gas and dust, and a remarkably steady pattern of brightening that repeats every 16 hours. What looked at first like a typical interstellar comet is turning into one of the most closely watched objects in modern astronomy. Stay with me. In this deep dive, I'll walk you through the images, the measurements, the theories, and even the arguments erupting among scientists trying to interpret this thing. When Hubble re-observed 3i Atlas on the 30th of November, 2025, the new data shocked researchers by revealing the clearest post-perihelion structure yet. The images show a compact central condensation that likely hides the nucleus, but it's wrapped inside an enormous, diffuse coma that extends far beyond what early predictions suggested. Follow-up observations from ground observatories confirmed that the object didn't quiet down after its closest pass to the sun. Instead, it continued throwing off jets of material, with some days showing sudden bursts of brightness as new surface patches likely became exposed to sunlight. The repeating 16.16-hour brightness pattern, detected independently by several teams, became one of the most talked about features. It's incredibly precise, with tiny uncertainty, and even though some media outlets couldn't resist calling it a cosmic heartbeat, scientists are now working to understand what natural mechanism is producing such a stable rhythm. The discovery story of 3i Atlas is already impressive. It was identified by the Atlas survey on 1st July 2025, but when astronomers dug into archival data, they found the object in images from early May, nearly two months earlier. Those early frames were crucial. Without them, the orbit would have appeared ambiguous, but combining old and new detections gave researchers enough information to determine that its path wasn't just elliptical or parabolic, it was unmistakably hyperbolic, meaning 3i Atlas is not gravitationally bound to the Sun and must have originated from outside our solar system. It sped through the inner solar system at tens of kilometers per second, carrying a hyperbolic excess velocity of around 58 kilometers per second. Its perihelion, the moment it swung closest to the Sun, happened on 29th October 2025. Even then, its distance from Earth posed no threat, but it created one of the best scientific opportunities of the decade, a clear view of an interstellar object undergoing active outgassing right in our cosmic neighborhood. Figuring out the size and shape of the nucleus has turned into one of the biggest challenges. Because the coma is so bright and so extended, the core is buried under layers of dust and gas. Estimates from different research groups spread widely. Some calculate that the nucleus could be only around 300 meters across, while others argue for something several kilometers wide. The uncertainties are not mistakes. They're a consequence of how difficult it is to separate the nucleus light from the enormous halo surrounding it. Speaking of that halo, it's massive. Some studies suggest the coma spans hundreds of thousands of kilometers, and one analysis puts it close to 700,000 kilometers across, half the diameter of the Sun. Spectroscopic studies have been critical for deciphering what this visitor is made of. Multiple wavelength observations show that it behaves like a comet rich in volatiles, with carbon dioxide playing a dominating role in its activity. CO2 sublimates at much lower temperatures than water ice, which is why 3i Atlas became active while it was still very far from the Sun. All signs point to it being an icy interstellar comet rather than a rocky shard or metallic fragment. After its close solar pass, activity didn't diminish the way many comets do. Instead, astronomers documented evolving jet structures and asymmetric features inside the coma. Jets on comets often appear when sunlight warms a volatile rich patch on the surface, causing localized outgassing. Sometimes these vents behave almost like geysers, releasing dust and gas in bursts. A few researchers even used the term cryovolcanism as an analogy, not to suggest volcanoes as we know them, but to express how energetic and eruptive these volatile driven outflows can be. One particularly intriguing hypothesis proposes that the nucleus might not even be a single solid body. 
Instead, it could be a cluster or swarm of smaller fragments held together by weak gravity or moving cohesively through space. If this is true, all of our size, mass and rotation estimates would need to be reconsidered, and the interpretation of its light curve becomes far more complicated. The 16.16-hour signal is where the debates grew loudest. Time series photometry from several independent groups revealed a consistent, stable period. The object brightens and dims on a schedule, repeating cycle after cycle like clockwork. The straightforward explanation is that 3i Atlas is rotating, and that one or more active jets on the surface sweep into and out of view as it spins, creating repeating changes in brightness. But once the media grabbed onto the story, an alternative idea started spreading, that the signal might be artificial, an engineered modulation or a technological beacon. Although that speculation generated headlines, most experts argue strongly for natural explanations. Earthbound comets show similar periodicities all the time. Rotating irregular shapes, variations in surface reflectivity, and consistent outgassing vents are all capable of producing dependable brightness cycles. As researchers frequently remind the public, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and so far every piece of observational data fits comfortably within ordinary comet physics. The observations of 3i Atlas have been unusually collaborative, Hubble's WFC-3 instrument captured high-resolution images from orbit, but several ground observatories, including professional facilities and highly experienced amateurs, also contributed valuable photometry and spectroscopy. Even relatively small telescopes were able to track the object once it brightened enough, allowing enthusiasts around the world to participate in the monitoring campaign. Different kinds of data complement each other, Spectra reveal the chemical makeup of the outgassing material. Images show structure and evolution in the coma and jets, and light curves allow scientists to infer rotation periods and changes in activity. The result is a richly detailed multi-platform dataset, unlike anything we had for earlier interstellar objects. The scientific significance of 3i Atlas goes far beyond curiosity. Interstellar objects are messengers carrying physical and chemical fingerprints from the environments where they formed, environments that might be entirely different from our own solar system. Because 3i Atlas is actively shedding material, researchers get a rare chance to study ices and dust that condensed around another star, possibly billions of years ago. Understanding what it's made of, how it behaves near the sun, and how its structure compares to comets native to our system helps refine models of planetary formation. It also challenges assumptions about what types of bodies populate interstellar space. With only two previous interstellar visitors observed in detail, every new object expands the boundaries of our understanding. Even with the burst of recent studies, major questions remain open. Determining the nucleus's true size is still at the top of the list. Without penetrating the coma, it's extremely difficult to know whether we're seeing a compact core or a loose cluster of fragments. Another mystery is the full chemical inventory beyond the obvious CO2 detection. More time and more spectra are needed to pick out faint signatures of other volatiles, and the debate over the nucleus versus swarm scenario is far from settled. Future modeling and high-resolution imaging could tilt the scales in one direction or the other. In the months ahead, continued observations as 3 I Atlas recedes from the sun will help clarify which theories hold up and which need revising. As the object grows fainter and moves away, scientists are racing to capture every frame and every spectrum they can before it becomes too distant to study in detail. 3. I Atlas is a rare once-in-a-generation visitor, and the amount of information we've gathered in just a few months is astonishing. From its discovery and early orbital fits, to Hubble images revealing enormous coma structures, to active jets, a dominant CO2 signature, and a remarkably steady 16-hour brightness cycle. If you enjoyed this long-form deep dive, let me know. I can follow up with a more technical episode, a full breakdown of the light curve math, a detailed walkthrough of the spectroscopy, or even a point-by-point -point discussion of the so-called heartbeat controversy that exploded online. Tell me which angle you want next, the mathematics, the chemistry, or the debate.